Good morning, everyone, on this Sunday morning. Just thinking about all the different places that we've been in Scripture this past week. Wow, we've been all over the place. I mean, we've been back there with Moses being put into a, a basket, floated down the river. Remember, he was a little baby right then. And that would turn out later on in the story to be the salvation of the people as they're led out of Egypt. But all because of the incredible faith of five women. Five women who were heroes. Five women who participated in the salvation of God's people. We had that. Then we moved into uh, Isaiah, who's talking to the people who are getting ready to leave Babylon. They've been held captive there for years. Uh, most of them born in captivity. And trying to give them a little push for hope because they just they, they just can't believe this is happening and oh, they, they don't know should they go should they stay he's saying hey look look back look back at your history who you who you are where you came from so that you can look ahead for what God wants for you look up and look down look at this beautiful world around us it's all gonna be gone you're gonna be gone you'd be dead like a gnat that's kind of weird, right? But there's one thing that lasts forever. That one thing is for you and for me. That's God's promises, God's love, God's salvation, and His deliverance lasts forever. Then we had uh, all the Psalms that we talked about. One of them, a Psalm of Ascent, as you're walking into Jerusalem, going up toward the temple. You're singing away with everyone else. And one of those songs says, Hey, th th this is just awesome. God is our God. And if it weren't for the fact that the Lord were on our side, we wouldn't even be here. You know? So it's a, it's a song of, of praise, a song that celebrates uh, God and his love toward us in difficult moments. And so the other psalm that we looked at, Psalm 138, when I was in that time of trouble, I look back now, Lord, and you were there. You were there for me. It's a song of thanksgiving, a psalm of thanksgiving that the people would recite as they brought in their offerings of thanks to God for being with them. Oh, then we looked at the Apostle Paul. Yep, the Apostle Paul who said, you know what this life is all about? This life is about God's incredible love for you and for me so much so that now he asks he asks you and me to present ourselves as a living sacrifice to him and why not just because he wants a bunch of bodies up on the altar no he wants us to be living sacrifices meaning we are out there in the world sharing his love and grace with others and we kind of get that from our gospel lesson for today too when when jesus Asked his disciples, who do you say that I am? Yeah, I already asked you what you think everyone else says, but who do you say that I am? And Peter stands up and says, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. It's all about identity. Peter got it. Peter got it. Well, I'll be honest with you. He got it this week. Next week, he kind of goofs up again. But that's Peter. But Peter is also given an identity too. He's called the rock. Now, I know there's a wrestler called The Rock, too, but, but come on. The Rock. Peter, rock, on this rock. On this rock. I will give the, kid the, the keys to the kingdom to you, Peter. Wow, this is pretty powerful stuff. You and I, our identity is found in Jesus, who is the Christ the son of the living God who brings hope and justice and peace and reconciliation to the world. But again, it only happens in one way. That's you and me being those living sacrifices. You and me is part of the church, the ecclesia, as it's said in the Greek, the gathering of people together. We are the ones who take that message out into a hurting world. 
it was a wild and wooly week. We talked about a lot of different stuff, but it all boils down to one thing. Our God is an awesome God, full of love for everyone. I also have an awesome cat. That's our cat called Luna, who's just kind of chilling out and taking in all the sights back here under my favorite tree. God's blessings be with you on this day. Enjoy your time with family and friends. And always remember, present yourself as a living sacrifice. Let your minds be transformed by his incredible love. Blessings be with you.